everybody, Cousin Jim here and my buddy Richard Boyton. We're headed out to the reef. We don't know what we're going to catch today. It's been blowing for the last 10 days. So I only got to make one little video. But we're going to go out and catch some fish. Don't know what it's going to be. What are you hoping to do today, Richard? Uh, let's get one of those dolphins on a fly. Uh, okay. So we're going to go see if we can find a school of dolphin after we get live bait so I can find the dolphin. Here we go. <laughs> Here comes my neighbor fishing out on the reef. You got anything big in your chum line I can pull off of it? Okay, so Richard said you haven't done this before. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put out some chum. It's ground up fish, mainly carcasses and the bones and that kind of stuff. So we're gonna put a block of chum in the water. It's gonna create a big oily slick behind the boat. I'm not sure which way it's going to go because the wind is blowing in, the tide is going out, and so we'll just have to see what happens. But then, the um, hopefully we get a whole bunch of ballyhoo bait fish coming up. Then I'm going to use the bait a bait hoop. I'll hoop those fish into the boat so we have live bait, and then we'll go offshore and see if we can find something else out there. But while we're here, we're going to try and catch a few yellowtail, maybe a mutton snapper, mangrove snapper, something like that. So that's what we're doing. Got him. What you got, Richard? You got him? Oh, yeah. Here he comes. First fish of the day. Don't let me down, Richard. Don't let him off. Come on, man. Let's get him. Oh, yeah. Look at that pole on that rod. Good job. Flip, just flip him in the boat. Flip him on in here. Oh, nice yellowtail. That's dinner. Here you go. Flip him. Just lift him right up here to me. Come here, pal. That's a nice yellowtail. Now, if you don't want that shirt ruined, you can't hold him very long or he'll flip that blood on you. Okay. But look, look up here. Hold him up, man. Nice fish. That's Richard's. Is that your first yellowtail ever? No. Okay, so, but a good dinner fish tonight. Here we go. Feel that tension so you know. All right, Robert. <laughs> Robert. Dang. What's your name again? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Pepe here. He had a little bite. I was thinking of the neighbor across the canal that we saw. Might have got, might have got your bait if he didn't come back. That was a pretty serious nibble. It was a pretty serious nibble. You don't have enough bait there for anything. But there's a chunk of squid there, so just cut it up. The ballyhoo will be better than the squid. So we've got cut up squid here. Richard's gonna put one on the hook and it just goes through the skin a couple of times. So you've got a, got a chunk there. Leave the, leave the pointy end exposed. So that way, if you get a chance to set the hook into him, it will. And there we go. He's doing the best. He's got a fish in the boat and he just lost his bait. So he's getting the bites. I'm watching the ballyhoo. They're just out behind the boat, so hopefully they come in close enough to get us. And oh yeah. This is a bigger fish than the last one. That's a good thing. I think. Has he got you in the bottom or is he coming? No, he's still the bottom. Okay. So let him let him have some slack. Oh, okay, that's good. Go ahead and close that bale. And just wait and keep your tension with your finger on the line there and so if you feel him swimming then rip his lips off did you feel him swimming there I did. is he out I so. he's i think you got him out good job learn learn the fish whisperers technique let him swim out of the hole let's see what you got here another he comes yellow, another yellow tail. another yellow tail all right just you got him Nice job, Richard. That's two out of porpoises right out here. There they are. Hopefully they swim on. They scare the fish. But they're cruising on through. Look at those guys. Majestic animal. When I was a kid, my favorite TV show was Flipper with Bud and Sandy and Ranger Rick. I wanted to be in that family because they were running all over this Key Largo area, saving people, having a good life. 
Okay, we got the belly hoop out behind the boat. Richard just hooked up. Oh. He missed. Let it set. Let us. Oh, okay. You reeled it too far. He probably didn't follow it. Well, I, th I think he. he you think a, he? That was not. Oh, he is. He did leave it. Okay. He left I it understand. for you. All righty. I thought he got it all. I thought he did too. That was a big pull. I saw it. That really was. So, anyways, I've got uh, some ballyhoo stacking up behind the net there. I made one pull and I got half a dozen. So I'm going to put this camera up above, tilt it down. Hopefully we get some video here. Let's we'll see what happens. Oh, see how they're coming in here now? Here they come. I got half a dozen in this pull too. That's how you get them. Just like that. Okay, so I already put one live one out on the bottom. He's waiting on the reel on the other side. Richard's still fishing for the yellowtail over here. He's got to catch three or four more for dinner. But we are now making bait and catching fish. Here he is. Did you get him that time? Yeah. All right. Richard's got him. Hopefully we got the bite in the video. Sounds like another yellowtail. Yep. It's sure looking is. like a yellowtail. Another one of the 14, 15 inch yellowtail. Perfect for dinner, buddy. Good job, Richard. Whoa. We got a couple. Oh, maybe another half dozen. Yeah, buddy. There's a bunch of ballyhoo out here. We're doing good. Richard, what do you think of this yellowtail fishing? Oh, yeah, yellow great. It's like uh, it's like catching fish in a barrel. <laughs> Almost. It's a big barrel out here in this ocean, though. All right, people. There's the ballyhoo getting stacked up behind us. I got somewhere around 30 to 40 in the live well here. So now that the ballyhoo are stacked up, hopefully something a little bigger is underneath them, and we might get hooked up. I'm waiting for Richard to catch him. It's all up to him. <laughs> no pressure. Yep. If he's not there in another five, 10 seconds, then, then bring it on in. That was another real one though. There. There's a bite. I saw the I saw the rod tip. There you go. Yeah, buddy. Drop, drop oh no. no, he's not. no he's not. He fooled him. Oh, this one might not make 12 inches. No, I don't think so. But look how pretty this fish is. Let's put him out there in this side. Look at the colors on that guy. Look at the blue tacked in behind the yellow. Yeah, yeah. This one's not big enough to make a sandwich out of, so we're going to let him go. He's probably right at the 12 inches. Look how thick these ballyhoo are. So I'm going to go get the hook. One more time. Richard, you're on. You're on. Oh. You're, you're on. Come here. You don't have to set the hook. You just got to get him. He already did that, didn't he? Yep. You can walk to this side of the boat where you're comfortable. You got him, buddy. Keep the rod, just keep the rod tip up and keep him coming. Is he still pulling? Yeah. You getting him? Whatever he is, he's there. All right. You're doing good. He's still coming in. Whatever he is, he's there. This is on a live ballyhoo that we set down on the bottom. What you got there, Richard? I'll see you in a minute. All right. Let's get him in here. Keep that rod tip up and keep him coming. That's a nice fish. I told you we'll catch a bunch of small ones and then we'll get something. All right. You take the line back away from me. Of course. And you'll get some back now. You might have to pump him to, to get it back. 
Whoa, and he's gone. He's gone. Whatever he was, he's gone. Well, what'd you think, Richard? He was big. He was strong. All Good right. Rig. Look at these yellow tail, not yellow tail, <laughs> belly who stacks up behind the boat. Just pull the net in on them. This is how it works. And that's how you get a net full of bally here. Look at that. Wow. That's a lot of bait. One full. Woo. Look at that. Yeah. John. Oh, get ready there. There you go, Richard. I know it's wrong handed. He's, he might be there. When he's there, hit him. Oh, did you see that Cerro mackerel? Yeah. You got him. You got him. Is he there? You, good job. I told you. I got the iced tea out. I haven't even opened it. I said, all we need to do is get something to. Uh, he's not there. He came off. No, you got half a fish. Got half of it. So bring that up and let's see how sharply he's bit off. Wow. Something just ate that half and missed the hook. We're in the right spot. The mackerel are here. Let's see what we. All right, Richard, we've had a couple of big bites, but I need a couple more fish for the vi for this uh, episode. Don't let me down, the pressure is on. Check out the ballyhoo here. Yeah. They're right into the bag. Man, beautiful. Beautiful stuff. Just stacked up behind us. When the yellow tail are stacked up like that, they call it the yellow brick road. So they get stacked up like that behind the boat once in a while. I've seen it three, four times in my life, but not today. Of course, I'm trying to make it difficult on you. You know, we've got to put the pressure on you and put things in your way. We got the uh, outrigger up above. We've got a gaff hanging right behind his head. We've got, he's left-handed, so he wants to cast from the back end of the boat. So I put a couple of fishing rods in the way. We're just improving his skills today. There you go. Today is a skills challenge day. Yeah, exactly. Richard's getting a bite. Yeah. See that rod tip? When it's shaking like that, it's, there's the pull. He's got him. Oh yeah, he's got him. Pulling some drag. Nice yellow tail. That's a 15 inch yellow tail coming in the boat. There he is. Good job. Another nice yellow tail in the boat. It's on again. Nice job. Yellow tail for dinner. Well, Richard and I, we just had a blast out here. We got, I don't know, half a dozen yellow tail, plenty of bait. So, did you enjoy the afternoon? It was a great afternoon. All right. So, here we go. We're headed in. Come on, guys. Come down here. Here you go. We'll feed you all. There's a mullet. Get the mullet. Okay, here's one for you. Another one for you. All right, last one. 